All right, guys, thanks for joining me. Melissa May here. Um, I am starting my day off with calling churches to find out what they do to help women. I just did a video about talking about the support that they offer other people, not just moms. Now, if you go and look on my community post, support me over there, too, because I will be putting more stuff over there. Um, basically, I have a Forbes uh, video up there talking about how Jim Jordan has defended reproductive, uh, not reproductive rights, pregnancy centers. He has defended them. When one of the women, I didn't catch her name, was talking about reproductive rights and saying, how dare you say that our party does not value the sanctity of life. She's like, we have put in place universal pre-K, you know, daycare help. Uh, tax benefits for those who put their kids in child care, etc. How dare you say we don't care about life? And she's like, we actually are giving families a fighting chance. And, you know, she talks about like, what have you done to make sure families are taken care of? First of all, daycare does not equal, um, doesn't equal good care is what I want to say. Just because somebody's in child care doesn't equal quality care. And in my opinion, a mother staying home with her children is better than daycare, honestly. And there's a couple reasons. One, you're usually going to love your kid more than anybody else. Two, um, it doesn't really help families. I mean, for the most part, if a woman is out there working, for the most part, she's actually getting behind paying daycare because daycare is so expensive and even if these programs like welfare supplement um you know with daycare I I don't know sometimes it's free I guess right it still isn't going to help a family in the long run and the reason why I say that is because um there is you know when you have your own kids at home you are spending more time in the home which it gets you ahead with saving money. If women are home for the most part, and I'm not saying you can't work, but when your children are really young, you are going to save more money by being home. And yes, it might look like, okay, I have a $400 paycheck or $500 paycheck, and I'm working part-time, and I'm able to put my kid in daycare or whatever while I keep that money. But honestly, the time a woman has a little one to take care of when she gets home, she doesn't have time to take care of everything else. She doesn't have time to do the cooking. She doesn't have time to do the cleaning. Usually that money is spent on, you know, gas, clothes for work, cleaning, uh, uh, help with cleaning, help with takeout. So it's not necessarily, and I'm not saying a woman cannot benefit from having some state help, but it usually doesn't benefit her as much as staying home. Now we're dealing with single women too, right? And maybe the single women need that more. They need some kind of income. So they're going to need that money more. And, you know, there probably is a place for it there. But I'm not saying necessarily daycare is the all-in-all -all answer, right? Because it's really how you do it. So um, I think a woman who stays home with her children can actually make more money than a place that sends your kid to daycare. You've got to pay for gas, pick them up, drop them off. You've got to deal with behavioral issues after daycare usually. So it's not necessarily the best thing. I would think the best thing to help families is to allow women to stay home with their kids and to give a, um, a, a certain amount of money every single month to single women. So that they can stay home. I mean, if we can give money to people left and right, why can't we just give a paycheck to single moms? I think that would get them ahead further. Where they can stay home with their kids. And they don't have to worry about their car breaking down. And they don't have to worry about, you know, um, having to go work and put their kid usually somewhere that they is not the ideal. Because they don't have the money to really pick and choose exactly like the best daycare right if we were to do daycare i would say we need the top-notch daycare places and priced at a place that single moms can afford the best of the best if we were to do daycare vouchers 
Um, but I think that even then the best place for kids is with their mom. So I think for single moms, there should be some kind of, um, stipulin, <laughs> stipulin for moms to ha have a monthly income. I really do. I support moms who take the help off of welfare. They take the food stamps. They take the help because they need it. And, um, I don't, I don't really think putting mothers down on welfare really helps because they usually need the income. They need the support. They don't have a man in their life. They don't have a husband. Okay. So you can't really replace not having a husband and me not having a husband right now in my life. There is a lot missing, right? So you can never, ever replace that. And then for your kids, your sons or daughters, you can never replace a dad in the home. Never. So no matter how much money you have, it still doesn't replace dad. So for single moms, if the government can spend, you know, $9 million or $9 billion, whatever it is, in the Middle East to get these charging pumps going for gas cars, if we can blow money left and right, handing it over to other countries, I think we can support single moms. I really do. I think we can give them a monthly stipend until uh, their kids go to school. And then if they choose to homeschool their kids, I think we can give them homeschool families income too. Some kind of income that moms can stay home and homeschool their kids. If we can afford to send kids with our taxes to public school, I don't know why we can't take that same tax money and put it into mothers who want to homeschool. Because I know what it's like homeschooling your kids on very little. And it shouldn't have to be that way. You should be able to homeschool your kids and be rewarded for all that work that you did. You should be able to have a regular income, like a job, to be able to homeschool. So that's where I think tax money should go. And when I listened to J.D. Vance and he talked about not having a lot of money when he grew up, there's nothing wrong in of itself with being poor. But if he would have had, you know, our circumstances make us sometimes, but if his mom would have had more support, he could have had even a better life, right? Um, we need to help moms that are on drugs and they can't get off them. That's a huge need. Um... I'm glad my mom had me when she wasn't ready, you know, so this lie that you are not ready is a, is a big lie. You know, my mother said she was not ready to have me and I'm so glad that she had me, you know, can you imagine, I can't imagine if me and my brother were not born in this world. I mean, I cannot imagine the difference that would have made in the world. Like I have even my oldest son who's busy as a teacher helping a lot of kids right now if it wasn't for my mother having me my son would not be able to affect all these families helping kids the way he does so we don't know where people are going to end up in life that's not under our control and um you know we just we don't know we don't know if the next child we have have will be the next president like jd vance i mean you know, just because his mother was on drugs and she wasn't ready for him doesn't mean he shouldn't have been born. And, um, it doesn't, it doesn't, the, the child doesn't deserve the consequences of the parent, right? If they're on drugs, the child doesn't deserve the death penalty that reproductive rights puts on a child. So we need to really be thinking of more solutions, how to support not just moms, Okay, but single moms and, the, and you know, uh, what's his name? Uh, Jordan pointed out, you know, you're talking about education and everything and you're talking about what you do to value the sanctity of life. But really, they don't because they are promoting the death penalty for kids and they have more of a, a philosophy of once you have kids, let's give them quality life and saying the kids that don't. How you know, come into the world with a more difficult circumstance don't deserve life. So they don't value the sanctity of life. They don't. And as Jordan pointed out, they're like, you know, we need to help moms. He's like, this is exactly what crisis pregnancy centers do. This is exactly what they do. They help moms. 
And he says, we've had, since Dobbs, we've had over a hundred churches and centers attacked. And I think it's more than that now. I do. Uh, that was a year ago. So, um, why are we not helping moms? Moms are the backbone of society. They are, and we need to help mothers more. So that's what I got for now, guys.